By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to use the replay mod in Minecraft. From the basic controls all the way to the best render settings, you'll be a pro in no time, so strap in and enjoy. Okay, so obviously this is part two of the mini series. Part one was actually the last video that I uploaded and I showed you how to download and install the replay mod. So if you missed that video, go ahead and watch that video first and then come straight back to this video. So before we actually get ahead of ourselves and record any footage, I just want to tweak a few settings. So when you're on the main menu, you want to head over to the replay viewer button right here. Go ahead and click that and you should see a blank page just like this because you haven't actually recorded anything you want to head up to the top right where you can see the three lines so this is the replay mod settings page and there's only a few things we need to tweak and you don't even have to tweak these but for me my personal preference I would tweak these if I was you so you want to head down to automatic recording and turn that off you don't want that on show chat you want that off as well and you can leave show path preview on because I prefer it on but the recording indicator, just turn that off. All it is, is it shows like a recording icon in the top left, which for me, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, cool. Once all that's done, just click done. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open up one of my worlds and load it. It doesn't matter which one. All we're going to be doing is just testing and learning how to use the replay mod. Okay, so once we're loaded in, as you can see, it just looks like normal Minecraft. But what I want you to do is hit escape and then go down to the bottom right and you can see start recording. Just click that and it will start recording and you'll be notified in the bottom left just like that. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of walking around. It doesn't matter what you do. This is just recording in the background. If you had the indicator, you'd see an icon in the top left, but we don't. We already know we're recording. We've literally just clicked it. So just go ahead, just explore your world. Just walk about if you want. Uh, probably about 30 seconds to 1 minute 30 just for this tester. You know, get a few different locations, get a few different angles. So once you've finished recording what you wanted to record, all you have to do is hit escape and we've got two options. You can either pause the recording and then continue it later on, or what you can do is just stop recording and all we're going to do is we're just going to stop recording and once you stop recording you're not going to get like a notification it's just stop recording all you have to do is exit out of the world so just save and quit to title and then we should see yes in the top right you should see saving replay file so there we go it's saved now all you have to do is go back to your replay viewer just click that and then instantly we can see our save it also comes with like a timestamp a date and also the duration of the actual video we recorded and if you really want you can even rename this replay but anyway select the recording and then just load it and once we load into the world it's going to be automatically playing so you want to hit t on your keyboard and click pause in the top left so we are now currently in the world basically pressing t on your keyboard will bring up your mouse option so instead of moving the camera around it will keep the camera still and then you can move your mouse and use the UI on the screen. To get out of this and move around again, just click escape on your keyboard. As you can see, I can move around freely. I can move around wherever I want. I can fly. It's just like I'm in spectator mode. So I think before I show you some of the controls, I'm just going to go over the UI interface and what it actually means. So obviously pressing pause and play in the top left hand corner pauses and plays the actual recording. This bar at the very top of your screen is the duration of the full recording that you've recorded. So for example, if you want to skip forward you can skip forward to that part in time and then the bar below that is actually your like recording bar so this will determine the actual duration of your render and then there's also keyframes which I'll go over a little bit later and then render camera path is just where you save your file and render it out now as you may have seen we've got the speed slider at the top as you can imagine this literally just speeds up your video or slows it down so for example right now our characters moving in real time but if we want to slow him down, we just drag it to the left and we can move him at 0.1. So you can see he's actually moving really slow. If I look to the left here, you can see all the animals are still moving just very slowly. And I'll move into a better position here where he's going to be moving. And I can show you what it's like when you speed it up. As you can see, it gets faster and faster. And that's, that's like five times speed. So that's just pretty much how that works. Okay, cool. So now we'll just go over the basic controls. So to find this, you just have to go down to the bottom left and click these three lines. So M is add event marker. Now, if there's an important section of the video that you want to actually mark, but you don't want to render out quite yet, just click M and it'll set a marker on this top bar. To get rid of this, just click it and then delete it. P obviously just pauses and plays the actual footage. I, I wouldn't really worry 
worry about too much to be honest. Now L, J and K actually control the camera's tilt. So for example, I can tilt the camera clockwise, I can reset it with K and then I can also roll it counterclockwise with J, which is great because you can actually get some pretty cool like cinematic shots with this. Moving on, Z literally just toggles the light and you'll capture a thumbnail, which will be saved to a specific uh, thumbnail folder in the replay mod. So B is an interesting one that I use quite a lot. So say we're 40 seconds into the video and our players like walked off somewhere, we've lost him. All you have to do is click B and then you click on his name and you'll be teleported to that player. Once you've teleported to your player, you can just click escape and then escape out of the body and there you go. Also, another quick thing for uh, the player overview, you can toggle the visibility, which is really good for if you're doing like uh, time-lapse builds and you don't want your player to be seen so it looks like just blocks are just appearing out of thin air. So you can load up quick mode which I don't do too often and that basically I'm pretty sure it just gets rid of like particles and I think it gets rid of like layers of your skin. It basically just dumbs everything down so that you can run replay mod a little bit better. So if you're having trouble like running replay mod and it's killing your PC a little bit then I suggest using quick mode. I've never had that issue but you can try it if you'd like. And then other than that I'd say that's all the controls you really need for like the basic controls. So anyway let's get round to actually like recording a path so using the top bar locate like the point of the recording that you actually want to create a path so i really like this part where i'm coming out of the water so i'm going to record that so find a starting frame that you really like around that point and then you want to hit these two green buttons it's add position keyframe and add time keyframe okay perfect and we've got our first keyframe so you can click escape and come back a little bit and then you can see the actual location of your first camera path so i'm going to select like five or six seconds further on the top bar just to see where we end up and then i'm going to go for our second camera angle shot so this here seems good enough all i'm going to do is add position keyframe and add time keyframe and because we have the path enabled we can literally see where the camera is going to move so you can see we start in the ocean and then we come out and we follow our player to this point and it's great as well because the green line actually shows you where the camera is looking and after every keyframe it's good to see that you've actually got the correct movement and the speed is okay so on the bottom bar just drag it to the start and then just click play and as you can see we're moving we're following the player everything looks good it's a nice shot but there is one thing i want you to watch now if you watch my player for the first second you can see that it just completely glitches out which has been a bug in the replay mod for absolutely ages so i'd suggest always trying to compensate and just giving yourself some leeway so just give yourself a couple of seconds at the start of the recording to just get your character set up and get him in frame i'm not sure why it does this it's really annoying and i hope they fix it soon but that's just a little tip for you so anyway we like the path it's a decent path and we're gonna add more so we've followed the player from the ocean onto land and now we want a pan of the city so we're gonna go ahead about 10 seconds it's actually daytime now because i for some reason slept but it doesn't matter it's fine anyway we're gonna go up into the air we're gonna find a nice shot of the full city yep sure this will do and then we'll just add two keyframes and once you move out of the way you can obviously see the path once again and it's really cool because once you've got more than two keyframes you can create these like smooth transition lines so that it's not like a sharp bend so if we watch this again we can see how it goes so we're swimming we're swimming we get into a nice position on shore and then we're going to go for a nice pan of the city what's really difficult with keyframes is as you can see it's slightly slowed down so it's really difficult to get your timings like perfect but you can play around with it and you can figure it out but either way this is a nice shot of the city nice pan nice turnaround and i'm happy with that but let's say we didn't get the angle that we wanted to get and we want to change that so you can actually select in between the two keyframes you can see the path that we've got but it's not quite what we want so if you want to alter the path location all you have to do is go to your new location and add two new keyframes and there we go that's a much nicer curve which is exactly what i wanted so i'm just going to go back and check it that everything looks good still okay we're coming out of the water we're onto the land now we're going to take a deeper curve to the left but as you notice there we no clipped through like two blocks there which doesn't look good so not only do we no clip through the campfires we actually go through the roof as well and this is because the curve pulled us like a little bit wider so to change this we have to alter some of the keyframes and the easiest one to change is actually the first keyframe in this situation so you want to get as close as you can on the top bar to the second keyframe as you see we're not quite on it so we need to be on it a little bit closer and that seems good enough to me so before we delete these keyframes just get into a position close to where the camera was before as you can see this is where it is and 
this is where it's looking. We want to move away from the building. Just like this. This will probably do. Now delete both of these two keyframes and input the two new ones. And look, as you can see, the path has taken us away from the building and everything's all good. So let's watch that back one more time. So we're in the water. We're coming out of the water. We're on the beach. And then we're going to take a nice deep curve, but we're going to miss the building. We're going to be looking down onto this avenue and then we're going to pan around to the left and see the full city. Don't know about you, but it looks good to me, guys. So hopefully that's helped you understand like most of the basic controls. It's everything you really need to know. So we've come to the conclusion that this is the path that we want and we're fine with how it is. All you have to do is go to the top left and click the save icon. And there's some important steps here, so make sure you don't miss out. So you can leave rendering method alone, but I would recommend changing encoding preset to custom bitrate and then you can change the bitrate to probably around 20. 20. 60 fps is good and then this is the location that your file will be saved and this is the name if you want to change the name you can also change if you want to render name tags or not so in this situation i don't want name tags in there you could probably get away with just leaving everything else as it is but there is one very important setting that you need and that is this command right here because when you go to render a video it says rendering failed and you need to have ffmpeg installed so just simply copy to clipboard or open in browser i'll also put a link in the description if you just want to click that if it's easier so you'll find yourself on this site just click this green download button here and then just download source code and it'll download it pretty quickly in the bottom left just like that so once it's downloaded just click show in folder just like this and then you want to right click it once again and then extract files and then you want to put it in your C drive and then you want to look for program files 86 and then just click that just like that. Once you're done, just click OK and then it's going to extract all them files into that folder. So whilst that's extracting, all you have to do is go to documents, open up your C drive and then go to your program files 86 and it will have created a FFmpeg folder right here. So once you're in that file, you want to look for a folder called bin. For some reason, I didn't have this folder called bin. I'm not sure why, but what worked for me is going to the windows and then going to GitHub. And then you want to click this link right here. And then you want to go for the essentialbuilds.zip, which for me is the second link down. Just click that and it'll start downloading. And for some reason, this folder actually contains the bin file, whereas the first one doesn't. I'm not sure why. But anyway, just do the exact same thing. Just extract that file to your program files 86. It'll do its thing once again. And as you can see, the new one's got loads of numbers and digits after it. Uh, this is the one you want to keep. So you want to go into this one the first one you downloaded and just delete it. Just click delete and then continue. And that's gonna fully delete there. And then you just wanna rename this to just FFmpeg. Just like that, perfect. Double click it and there we go. There's our bin file. I don't know why it didn't work the first time, but here we go. So anyway, what you wanna do is you wanna click on the top one, FFmpeg.exe, and you wanna right click it and then go to properties. And once you're in properties, you wanna uh, copy and paste the location file, just like this. And then just paste it into the command location, just like this. And then after you've done this, you just wanna put a backspace and then ffmpeg.exe and once you've done that it's finally fully ready to render if we click render you can either show preview or don't show preview if you show preview it basically slows down the render time and if you just want a black screen there it actually speeds up the render time so i'd recommend just turning that off right there and then let it render and then we'll watch it back and see if it's actually done okay so as you can see actually watching this back it seems like everything is fine it looks like a good replay mod render if you have any questions about this video just drop them in the comments below either myself or i'm sure one of the other commenters will reply to it and help you out if you found this video helpful just drop me a like and a nice comment maybe and while you're at it why not watch this video